Hi, uh, the x-ray in front of you is normal and I want you to pay attention to mediastinal structures in this area. Normally you should be able to take a pencil and delineate or outline all normal structures. On this film you can see right heart border very clearly. You can see ascending aorta taking its normal curve up and then bending back down as descending aorta. You can almost correctly measure the size of left pulmonary artery. You can see aorta pulmonary window. You can further down see normal curve of the left ventricle. You can also see the lung behind the heart which is known as retrocardic area. You can see the mediastinum is of normal shape and contour. It's not widened. The angle of carina is 70 degrees and the left atrium lies just underneath the carina. Any angle above 90 would certainly be abnormal and would most probably indicate the enlargement of left atrium. So you can roughly uh, comment that left atrium is not enlarged. Another chest x-ray. For those who have some knowledge and experience in seeing chest x-rays, it would be very clear that the x-ray is grossly abnormal and offers a lot for learning purpose. However, traditionally we have been learning gradually as it makes the learning process easier. So as usual we'll discuss a few learning points while ignoring others that are being offered by this film. And to start with the cardiac size, you cannot see right heart border at all. And despite of the fact that the, uh, that the film is an AP projection, anti posterior view, no radiologist would hesitate to call it cardiomegaly, means the heart is enlarged. The other obvious finding would be the presence of several metallic wires uh, that have been made into uh, circle shaped structures. These are metallic sutures and indicate that patient has had open thoracic or open cardiothoracic surgery. To cut open thorax, usually for cardiac surgeries, surgeons have to cut the sternum from the middle. And at the end of operation, these metallic sutures are applied to hold the sternum back together. And if you look closely, you can actually tell what would have been reason for surgery. So I'll, I'll zoom it up for you. So you see these two circular things. And these uh, metallic structures have got pins uh, protruding from them. These are artificial walls. So the reason for open cardiothoracic surgery would have been the replacement of malfunctioning valves. The conditions of mitral valve and aortic valves are very common. And these are the two valves that are frequently replaced in humans. This is a sketch of heart copied from Wikicom's website, right atrium right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle and there is a valve between left atrium and left ventricle and between left ventricle and aorta. So this is aorta, ascending aorta, arch of aorta and descending aorta. So this valve is known as mi mitral valve uh, and it allows one way flow of blood from left atrium to left ventricle. So the blood cannot go back into the from left ventricle to the uh, left atrium. Similarly, aortic valve 
allows one way flow of blood from left ventricle to aorta so these are the two wells we are talking about at the moment another uh, cine loop copied uh, from wikimedia commons and you can see the opening and closing of uh, the valves these are ultrasound pictures and the valves are opening and closing so from another angle you see this valves open and then closes so this valves open and closes and similarly this valves open and closes so this particular patient had uh, both aortic and mitral valves replaced which are visible on x-rays aortic valve if you and, and you can tell uh, by the positions of uh, these uh, sort of hooks which one is aortic valve and which one is a mitral valve so I'll show you a lateral view so lateral view clearly shows so the this is aortic valve and this is mitral valve aortic valve this one is anterior and sort of pointing upwards uh, these pins are in the direction of flow of blood and the mitral valve is a bit posterior and pointing forward again in the direction of flow of blood the directions of such pins will help you in understanding whether a valve is aortic or mitral uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you that uh, these sutures you can clearly see on this lateral view that these sutures are actually holding the sternum back together on the AP view it was not obvious because the sternum is not clearly visible on an AP view uh, but lateral view you can uh, certainly say that these wires are holding the sternum together so on this film the right heart border is not visible at all and you cannot uh, see any mediastinal structures uh, in its normal shape like you cannot see the aorta ascending aorta you cannot see the pulmonary artery uh, angle of carina is, is still normal and the film clearly shows the compression of bronchi because of mass effect in the inferior mediastinum and any for the see the trachea is big enough here and it's sharply becoming very very small here so the branches are sh uh, smaller uh, sharply any more compression will cause further parenchymal collapse uh, of the bronchi supplying air to these areas the patient already has clear signs of collapse and consolidation with uh, probably some effusion here uh, pulmonary artery is I would say not visible at all here uh, so we'll look at uh, this film again in uh, future to discuss some other pathologies uh, by for now this uh, film and the lateral view has been copied from wiki radiology the uh, first normal chest x-ray was uh, courtesy of dr. Alex McLennan from UK and rest of the uh, movies the sketches uh, have uh, being copied from Wikicommerce website. Thank you very much.